Well, I've always wanted to build an RC dozer or a tractor or whatever it is, a tank. And um, I kind of like this uh, this Caterpillar 973 or a 963. And I wanted a model to be about, let's say, three feet long or three and a half. So I decided to start buying parts and basically these are my tracks right here for one side I put a little 2 by 4 there just to hold my uh, my gears in place to show y'all what it kind of looks like and basically it's about 25 inches long per track they're about 3 and 3, and three quarters wide by by inch and a half it won't focus there by inch and a half each slab uh, stainless steel <clears throat> I don't know the name of the manufacturer um, I guess it's Subaki or something like that it's uh starts with the letter T S U B A K I or something like that I'm not too sure and um, it's basically double pitch uh, chain, which I believe is a C2060 or A2060. And the same thing over the sprockets, they're double pitch. And um, this was a, a 60B28. But um, somebody told me that after like 23 or 24 teeth, that uh, it'll work for a double pitch. And basically it does and it was a lot cheaper i think i paid um fifty dollars on amazon for two of the double pitch ones and then on ebay i think i paid 25 dollars for the other two that are for regular 60 number 60 chain but it works pretty good um this chain was about 10 feet long and um I mean, as you can see, it's pretty nice. It's welded. It got their cotter pins there, so it's easy to remove or whatnot. And I mean, I think I paid about 80, 80 or ninety dollars ship. The thing is, I can't find another one. And well, I mean, they do make them, but the other ones I find, they're either half an inch, uh, they're like n a little bit narrow, or a lot wider. And the price is like. About the same thing about 80 90 dollars for the two and a half inch uh for the three i think it's three inches and a quarter and this is 3.75 and then from there it jumps to four four and a half or four and a quarter but those go like 200 bucks a piece but anyways on tracks alone it's going to be about 200 bucks for both tracks on the sprockets you know it was about about 50 60 70 about 80 dollars for four sprockets and I got these from uh, one of my vehicles. I had kept them here for a little project, but um, I think these are about 12 bucks each. And I'm probably going to end up buying one, two, three, about six total for another about 60 bucks. The bearings for these go for about 10 to $14. So they're like pillow bearings or or um flange bearings and um i'm gonna need a few of those too and you know maybe about 100 bucks of bearings and some good motors sorry about that you know for those that are wondering you know they're about four inches by five and about 10 11 inches that's including the the brake back here so basically just you don't need this crap i mean i took it off and uh, in other words you have to be applying like 12 volts or 24 volts to it and once you do that they'll deactivate and you know the motors won't be locked up or something like that and uh, i just took it off as you can see it spins freely now 
you can't see, but it's spinning super slow. I don't know the the gear ratio on these, but um, these sprockets supposedly they're um, I think they told me three quarters. You know the bore on them, and um, when I bought these, the guy told me they were three quarters, but actually they're a little bit wider than that, and um, from right here to the top. I basically put 12 volts on there. I let that sucker spin. Got my belt sander and kind of, you know, shaved it down a little bit. I just wanted to put a sprocket on there and see how fast it would spin. And I mean, I like those 12 volts, a lot of torque. But um, I think this sucker is going to be 24 volts. And um, by looking at the picture, from here to here I got about 24 inches so from here to here and then from here to here probably add another 14 15 inches more so it'll be about three and a half feet long um, quarter inch plate on the on the tracks on the side the bottom of the carriage is going to probably be half inch steel because that's what I have and um I want it to be heavy I want this to um, to help me do my garden whenever I want to <laughs> anyways um, there's some good chain to pick up I mean for the tracks if y'all want or y'all can buy the regular chain you know regular number 40 or 50 or 60 chain whatever you want to use probably spend about about 50 bucks for 20 20 feet of it but then you got to buy I don't know, 60, 60 to 70 feet of flat stock, you know, either 1/8 or 316, and then you got to weld them all on both sides. I mean, it's it's a lot of work. So, look at it this way, how much is your your time worth? I mean, for me it was just easier to buy the damn track made and call it a day. You know, I got both motors. I got one here, one over there. These were 100 and hundred and I think 115 let's say shipped and I mean they're real good condition um, you can't really tell here but if I put the motor this way let's say this is the bottom I'm gonna have about about an inch of clearance no, about an inch and a half or so. You know, the motor might, the bottom of the motor might be around this, about this height. So you know, part of it, part of the motor is gonna be under the the tracks, sticking out a little bit. And like I said, I'm gonna do a a heavy duty. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I guess they just say tracks. <laughs> I'm gonna have all this solid steel, you know, bearings and whatnot, all heavy duty. And um, that's it, man. You know, it's gonna be a nice 973 or a 63 or, or who knows? Might even make it a John Deere. <laughs> so that's it for right now. Like I said, you know, it's a prog it's a a long progress to build this and um. I got my barbecue pit trailer and you know can't spend money on both things like I said this is about about a hundred to three about 300 bucks you know with the motors the track the sprockets and other little stuff I have so that's it for right now all right